Hello everyone, this is the part 2 video on mathematics from 1, chapter 3, square square roots, cube and cube roots. So this part we are going to look at cube and cube roots. First thing is to evaluate 5 cube. So 5 cube actually means 5 times 5 times 5. So you get 1, 2, 5. Negative 2 cube means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 which is negative times, ne times negative is positive times negative again you get the final answer negative 2 times 2 times 2 you get 8 so remember when you cube a negative number the answer is always a negative so this one means negative 0 0.3 times negative 0 0.3 times negative 0 0.3 so the answer is negative 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.027 so for 1 1 over 4 cube it is easier if we change the mixed number to improper fraction which is 4 times 1 plus 1 you get 5 over 4 cube which means 5 over 4 times 5 over 4 times 5 over 4 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Okay, write it in the mixed number form, which is 1, 60, 1 over 64. The next part is finding the perfect cubes. So 1 cube, you get 1. 2 cube means 2 times 2 times 2, you get 8. 3 cube means 3 times 3 times 3. Yeah, so 3 times 3 times 3, you get 27. If you go on 4 cube, you get 64. 5 cube, you get 1, 2, 5. So perfect cubes are these numbers, which is the cube of a whole number. So let's say 6 is a whole number. When we cube 6, we get... 216. So 216 are called as perfect cubes. Again, 7 is a whole number. When we cube 7, we get 343. Three. So 343 three are called as perfect cubes. The next part is to evaluate the given cube roots of 27. So the cube root of 27 means we want to find the value. When you multiply itself twice, you get 27. So what value when you multiply itself twice, you get 30, 27? We can try an error or if you know about this, you know that is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3, you get 27. So the cube root of 27 is to find the value, this value, which is Likewise, the cube root of negative 1000 is actually cube root of negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10. Negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10, you get negative 1000. So the answer is negative 10. The cube root of 0 0.001 is 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. So the answer is 0 0.1. Again, for mixed number, we always change it to improper fraction. So it's actually the cube root of 8 times 15 plus 5 is 1, 2, 5 over 8, which is the cube root of 5 over 8. Sorry, 5 over 2 times 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. So the answer is 5 over 2. And then 2, 1 over 2. Now, question number 4. Evaluate. The cube root of 35 by using a calculator, correct the answer to 3 decimal places. Since 35 is not a perfect cube, the answer will not be in a whole number. So we need the calculator to help us to get the answers. Yeah. The cube root of 35 is equal to 3.271. 0, 6, 6, 3, 1. We're going to correct the answer to three decimal places. 
means we only want from 3.271 we want to stop here if we want to stop here we need to look at the fourth value the fourth place here if it is a zero then we don't have to plus one also we round off so we get this 3.271 which is the answer question number five evaluate so for this the first thing we do is before we can keep the values we need to find the improper fraction and then we add the two values then we can keep the values so 2 times 5 plus 1 is equals to 11 over 2 plus the cube of this before we can do this we need to multiply and plus you get 1 2 5 over 8 then we still have to settle this this is actually 5 over 2 11 plus 5 since they have, this, they have the same denominator 11 can be added to 5 11 plus 5 is 16 over 2 which you get 8 5, 1, 2 for the next question ok so first we find the cube root of 0 0.064 which is 0 0.4 then we need to settle this part with the square so square of negative 0 0.3 means negative 0 0.3 times negative 0 0.3 which is positive 0 0.09 so 0 0.4 minus 0 0.09 you get 0 0.31 of course you can use calculator to solve to key in, you key in everything in the calculator to solve but you need to also know how to do it step by step Question 6. Given the size of a cube uh, 0 0.08 meters long, find the volume of the cube in centimeter cube, uh, in a unique centimeter cube. So the cube has a shape like of this. So if this is a cube, all the length, all the sides have the same length. So the sides here are given 0 0.08 meters, means all the sides have the same length, which is 0 0.08 meters. But we want to find the volume in centimeters, centimeters cubed. So first, we convert 0 0.08 meter to centimeter. So 0 0.08 centimeter is actually 8 centimeters. So how do you convert? You multiply by 100. Well, multiply by 100. So after you get 8 centimeters, to find the volume, volume equals to the length times the height times the width so which is 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters which is 8 to the power of 3 you get 512 512 centimeter cube question number 7 given a cubic tank has a total volume of 0 0.343 meter cube find the length of the sides of the tank so now the cubic tank means Again, the tank has the shape of cube, meaning that all the sides have the same length. But we don't know the length, we only know, we only know the volume is 0 0.343 meter cube. In order to find the length, we need to find the cube root of 0 0.343. So sides, length of the side will be equal to the cube root 0 0.343 which is 0 0.3 meter the last question the diagram shows two cube boxes so since they are cube boxes means the length of the sides are the same the length of all the sides of for each boxes are the same so the volume of box B is 8 times the volume of box A so this is 8 times bigger than a. If the volume of the box B is 512, if this is 512, calculate the length of one edge of the box A. So if you want to find the one edge, means one of the sides, we need to first find the volume. So given that this is 8 times smaller than 512, 
so the volume of box A will be equal to 512 divided by 8 64 centimeter cube so after we know the volume in order to find the length the length of sides of box A will be equal to the cube root of its volume yeah, 64 so which is 4 centimeters the second question find the difference in a total surface area between box A and box B so surface area means this is one surface area for one box there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there are 6 surface area so we first we find the one surface area and we multiply by 6 ok so for box A one surface area so find the surface area it equals to length times height so which is 4 4 times 4 you get 16 for a box there are 6 surface area so centimeters squared for box B we only know the volume so we need to find the we need to find the length of the sides first again so in order to find the length of sides the length of one side is 8 centimeters so one surface area equals to 8 times 8 you get 64 centimeter squared then the total which is a 6 surface area equals to 64 times 6 which is 384 centimeter squared so now to find the difference we take the bigger value minus the smaller value so the differences 288 centimeter squared so that's it for chapter 3 thank you for watching